Okay, so we're talking about how you're going to practice this week. First of all, for your five finger position, you're going to stay with F sharp major and F sharp minor. Um, and what we interpolated into that were a couple of things of dead weight, you know, being yeah. able to do push ups off your positions, yeah. and then clumping with a loose wrist, right? So you feel very centered, that you're not falling off those keys, right? That's very important. And we did some of the mashed potatoes, right? Yeah. Like this. For the minor, right? Right. To loosen you up. Yeah. Because when you play, you don't want to be just, you know, frozen down here. You're going to get very tired. And mm -hmm. it'd be hard for you to, you know, unleash some of these, these different weight di distribution transfers that you need, right? Uh -huh. On the scale, you're going to do G major scale right. again. Um, you're going to practice these blocks, particularly for the contrary motion. Sure. When you sure. block, let go. As soon as you block, let go of the fingers that are not transitioning. Okay. So you're left with what? With that. Um, okay. We decided that you are um, going to do, you could also do rhythms. I'm going over this. And up. How many octaves? Three. The long yeah. notes go up after you roll in two, right? You can lean a little toward the instrument when you're going on the last octave. Lean a little bit toward your instrument. It helps. And up, and up, right, and up. Okay. okay, now okay. for the piece, now for the pieces, um, you're also going to do the arpeggios. We didn't do those, but you can go back to blocking. Yeah. And go, you know how to do that, right? Yeah. And yeah. coming down, you know, you're gliding on the right hand glide. Okay, for the piece this week, you are going to measure out your, with the metronome marking, right? With the wrist motion, right? Like this, right? Yeah. Make it pretty because there's a melody flowing through those chords. Then you can add your single note A. Is this one note in the left hand that goes going to join in, right? You don't have to worry about any change in the left hand, do you? Sure. Okay. And then uh, if you get to the point where you're really feeling comfortable with all of that, using the metronome at 52 to the quarter, you yeah. can start thinking about rolling across like this. This way. I'm going to let my hand go away so you can see it. So the motion is what? Roll forward and back. Roll forward and back. Because the vulnerability is the coming back down. It's easy to go. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, so you have to, you know, go forward and then forward again. Uh -huh. Right? Go forward, forward again. It's tricky. Uh -huh. Forward, again. Da -da 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 -da. 